uh, in the impermanent level yesterday we uh, spoke about the motor and we say power like a versus tone uh, from your point of view do you think tone will affect power or power will affect the tone yes or no So, is this effective or not effective? And there is a direct relation between tone and power or no? Yes. Okay. Anybody say no? If you don't say it, clearly yes. So, could I want to know that you So, everybody yes. So, this is the first thing we will discuss. No. I know it's shocking a little bit, but no. No, as a direct relation. Indirect is the rest relation. Now you tell me how. Now tone, what is tone at the end? How the tone is, will be there? What is tone? Carrying on. Tone itself. Now you're saying, uh, uh, how they coordinate it. Now, I mean, what is the tone itself? If I take one muscle, I tell you, now define the tone for me. Create it under the Correct? You do not do tone power with power. With active, I mean. You are doing it passively. And you are right. And the tone have, it must be there. That's why you are saying, when I stretch it, I look through the respond. Correct? But you are doing it passively. And the respond, is to passive, not to the active. So muscle power is nothing, nothing to do with it now. Correct? We'll go through that. So now we are speaking about elasticity of the muscle. This is the elasticity of the muscle. That's the spring. Correct? So it is a passive uh, responding to that. So you're not speaking here about Active, you're not doing it inactive at all. You're doing passive because it is a response to the passive because it's elasticity. And that's in the spring. In the spring, when I start to stretch it, it responds to you, correct? Now, this response is due to power? No. In the spring, man, the form of power, so at the end. Yeah, it still it will resist you, it still will come back. It has its potential. So, nothing to do with your power. Yani, you could have, this is what we are going to do today. You could have a flat, uh, hypotonic power 5 over 5. Have you seen that? Hypotonic muscle power 5 over 5. Cerebellar. Cerebellar patient is hypotonic and their power is 5 over 5. Why do your muscles not become weak? Okay. Now you have patient, let's put it this way, normal patient, orthopedic. Correct? Who have injured himself. His muscle become weak. Is his tone is affected? Is his ID come now? It's very important. I mean, if you are looking through... Uh, a patient uh, who's deactivated, normal, normal subject, normal guy. Normal guy, not doing activity, uh, 50 years old, in my age, not doing any activity, you start to have weakness. It's not, for example. But is the tone will be affected? No. You don't have any neurological point. Although you have muscle weakness, but you do not have tone problem. You have patients who are cerebellar, who have hypotonia, but power is 5 over 5. You have coordination problem, nothing to do with the tone. So they do not have direct, I know what you are looking. Now, what to make the tone, the tone of the muscle? Spindle, yes. Muscle spindle. This elasticity of the muscle spindle. 
Now it will react, okay? As soon as you stretch it, it will react because it's spindles, okay? It will react to you. <clears throat> this is where we look through the patient when we have this patient is this hypotonic, hypertonic. Now they will not be hypertonic unless they have a central nervous injury. So, you know, no way in other condition you have hypertonicity except the central nervous system. Hypotonic could be central, could be peripheral. Both of them can give you hypotonic. Central or peripheral. Peripheral nerve injury, okay, uh, polyneuropathies, all will give you hypotonia. Central nervous system can give you hypotonia also. This will be speaking on the assessment itself. So at the beginning, I want just to <clears throat> clarify that the tone uh, first of all, don't think about it that if you have hypotonia, it means that you must have muscle weakness. Or if you have get weakness, you must have problem in the tone. Okay? Now, can you do muscle testing when you have tone problem? Because it's one I did in with one other identity. Now, I will speak about the indirect effect okay, of the tone on the muscle. Uh, but when you speak directly together, you are not speaking about uh, don't do muscle testing because this is spastic. Or don't do muscle testing because it's hypotonic. You get my point? So this is the point. Uh, we do not want to be... This came from Bobath. And I will speak about why it came from there. And what was the idea of it. And today I will show you evidence base. Okay? Uh, research. Okay, that proving this assumption is not correct. Okay? And this is one of the critique to this technique uh, when we come to the assumptions.